Good morning, Paul George from Allendale. It's uh, Monday morning, August 5th, and uh, grain markets uh, finding a little more pressure here. Follow through selling from last week, uh, basically because of good weather. Uh, we've got uh, a system moving across the northeast Iowa uh, as we speak into Illinois, Wisconsin. So. Uh, some areas that needed a little more moisture is going to be getting some, and the forecast continues to uh, put moisture in uh, the forecast this week, which uh, reduces uh, crop stress and should be a, a good week for uh, crop development. Some of the other things that we've got going on in the market right now is the Goldman Roll uh, will start on Wednesday, which means that they'll be uh, selling the nearby contract, buying a deferred contract, and uh, that is putting some pressure on the uh, the September contracts in uh, corn and soybeans, wheat uh, here this morning as well. The uh, managed fund report on Friday showed that uh, uh, the funds continued to increase short positions. Uh, they increased their short position in corn by about 25,000 contracts to over 108,000 contracts short now. Uh, soybeans still uh, net long, but they reduced their net long positions by almost 35,000 contracts there. The uh, combined total of uh, non-commercial and non-reportable positions uh, had a record uh, number of shorts also at 185,000 contracts. So uh, we still got room when we look at the individual uh, funds or the non-reportable or the reportable funds I'm talking about on this uh, report so uh, there's still some room for some downside and some liquidation but uh, trades looking out ahead here at the uh, 1030 time frame we've got uh, Informa going to release their uh, estimates today uh, their last estimate put corn production at about uh, 14 billion 259 and uh, that's about 160 bushel an acre yield. So we'll be watching to see what uh, what their numbers are today as well. We've got rating uh, numbers out this afternoon. Uh, last week we were around 63% good to excellent. Uh, some of the trade feels like we actually could see an improvement in the uh, good to excellent category this week because of the rainfall uh, that we've seen throughout the uh, the Corn Belt. Ethanol plants continue to be aggressive buyers of corn. Uh, their basis is uh, higher in some areas on corn. Other areas uh, just steady here on Friday. However, soybean meal and uh, bean basis continues to weaken. Uh, some have reported in the West that uh, they didn't even uh, couldn't even find a bid on uh, Friday. So. Uh, uh, continue to see uh, pressure in the nearby uh, contracts for that reason. We look for uh, technical support to come under the market here in the DEES contract around the 460 area. So uh, we'll be mod monitoring that closely. And uh, the um, soybean uh, futures took out some key support on Friday. Close below there. We're getting some more selling pressure for that reason and uh, watch that very closely and stay in touch with Allendale's research and we'll, uh, we'll keep you informed or just give us a call and we'd be happy to discuss the, uh, the uh, support and resistance and, and trading ideas. In the livestock, uh, we've got the uh, last trading day of August hogs coming up here on August 14th. Uh, cutout values were uh, mixed in beef, choice up 55, select up 63. Uh, pork cutout values were a dollar and a half higher uh, on Friday, and some of that is because of this uh, rolling holidays that the pork industry and pork packing plants uh, have had. A few plants were closed last Monday. We've got three plants closed uh, today, which will uh, reduce the number the number of hogs that are slaughtered, the amount of pork that uh, is available. So that's uh, causing some support to product, but also has a tendency of uh, backing up a few hogs, and we've got to watch that uh, closely. Uh, the August contract is uh, still at a discount to the index, so uh, should uh, see some support uh, come into the August contract just for that reason alone. A lot of things going on. Uh, stay in touch with Allendale's research, 800-262-7538. Uh, we wish everybody a very successful trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.